Board of Education. So are we. Huh. So are we. At no point in the lives that we actually live do we sit in rows and listen to pontifications. At no point did mama pass written exams out on how to wash the dishes. No. She pulled a stool up next to her at the sink, handed us a dish rag, like, watch how mommy does it, now you try. Learning by doing such a crazy idea, it might work. Them stools felt like magical ladders into an altered universe, into the grown-up world, informational portholes, wormholes, into other places where kids were equals. Being made privy to information only those with driver's license and facial hair had. Who knew we were learning? No clue Pops was teaching us time management and budgeting. Miniature project coordinators. He said, I'm going to show you how to do these chores. And if they're done when I get home, then that allowance is yours. Maybe some ice cream's involved, too. Remember when we were in kindergarten and you had to learn about worms? Yeah. Dear Board of Education, all I've learned from your system is the fact that it's just a system that you set up. And if I just repeat what you just said in Jane Schaefer method, then I've passed, right? You're just testing my ability to regurgitate. And if your best instructors are miserable, I'm pretty sure it's not the kid's fault. This pain I know firsthand, the grand learning moments, the innovative lesson plans that cause his eyes to sparkle as if them students have just caught rides on shooting stars. These lessons have wings only to get clipped to fit into the low res JPEG you call a state standard. Why do you insist this is still the industrial age? My child is not a widget and a school should not be an assembly line. Making my daughter's diploma equivalent to an inspected by 2235 stamp. Dear Board of Education, so are we. Dear Board of Education, there's not a scantron on the planet that can measure inspiration. This is what our teachers pass on that matters. But you'd rather them do a jig to the tune of the AYP score as to avoid losing WASC, right? Nickleby got a shuck and a jiving. But you can't measure a kid inviting their teacher to a quinceanera or a soccer game or waiting rooms at free clinics. I can name 10 kids offhand who would still be in handcuffs if it wasn't for Mr. Singer. Nick Luvano runs his own design firm and he failed the exit exam twice. Failed. Dear Board of Education, I mean, can we not Google when the Magna Carta was signed? If your brightest stars are always dim, something must be wrong with your glasses. If every place on your body that you touch hurts, then your fingers must be broken. You are PhDs. You have five suffixes at the end of your names. You're the people that know a lot. How come you're not smart enough to know that you don't know what you don't know? Did anyone ever suggest that maybe we should test the test? Dear Board of Education, my dear Board of Education, so are we.